All right, hello, my friends. I have a book for you today. And if we look at the front cover, it doesn't tell us the name of the book. If we look at the back cover, it doesn't tell us the name of the book. If we look at the whole thing all at once, it looks like we're in New York City. Oh, wait, I see some words. If we look at the spine, sorry, if we look at the spine of the book, we can see it's written by someone named Rocco. The name of the book is Blackout. And one of my friends in class noticed it says Disney over here. There's a publisher over here. That's who made the book into a book. But yeah, the name of the book is Blackout. Got your listening ears? Here we go. It starts off on this page. No words here either. Hmm. Oh, and the title page says Blackout great big words. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and it was hot. Hmm, not a winter night then. Did you hear that? They said it was a summer night. And we can see in the windows of the buildings we can see, oh, here's the kid that was in the first picture looking bored. There's a sister on the phone. This looks like a mom working on the computer and a dad making some nums, making some food. Hmm. Inside, everyone was busy. Oh, the sister says, get out. Hmm. Everyone was much too busy. Nobody wanted to play. Uh. And then, I think something's gonna happen. The lights went not all of them, not just in this apartment, but look, all over the place, the lights went out. That happens sometimes, and when that happens, they call it a blackout, when the electricity goes off. The first thing that happens is this child says, Mom! Because it's surprising when all the lights go out. Luckily, flashlights that have a battery can still work, and candles that you can light on fire, those can still work. It says here, nothing worked at all. The phone wasn't working. Hmm. The city was dark and quiet. I think this is their window where they have their flashlight on. And still, we huddled around flashlights and candles. There's the candle. What's going on here on the wall? We did this with our class. We blocked the light so we could make shadows. We made some shadows with our class too. This shadow over here looks so much like a real dog. <gasps> Surprise for the cat. Hmm. So that's what they did until it got too hot and sticky to sit inside. Remember, it was summertime. Can we go? Where could they go? Well, if they did, they went up and up and up 
to the rooftop of their apartment building and they found They found the lights. What are those lights in the sky? Yep. Those are the stars on a clear night, especially if all the lights on the ground go out. It's really easy to see the stars. I wonder what else? Hmm. Looks like they weren't the only ones on the roof. There were people and it was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone, and then we heard sounds down below, too. Hmm. So, we went down and down and down to the street. <laughs> the child's like, come on. And down there, a party was going on down there too. I'm going to leave it on this page so you can see all the things going on. You can see, remember it was very hot, so this is happening. And it was too hot to stay inside, so this is happening. And this is happening, and this is happening. And over here, it says free. This one I'm gonna explain. It looks like this right here, this shop is an ice cream shop. But the ice cream is going to melt if there's no electricity to keep the freezer cold. So it looks like these folks are giving away the ice cream because it's going to melt if they don't eat it. And look, now nobody was busy at all. When the lights came back on, hmm, what happened when the lights came back on? When the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. Back to the cooking. He's got to reset the clock because the clock stopped too. Going back to working on the computer, going back to the phones, going back to the TV and the screen games. But then look, the little kid gets an idea and goes, click. You know what happened. Not everyone likes normal. And the one on the phone said, I gotta go. And the one who was working on the computer gets, look, gets the game out. And the one who was doing the cooking says, good idea, buddy. It looks like they're going to spend some time together in the dark after all. How about that? The end. I read this one in class, but it was really kind of a hit, so I thought you'd want to be able to see it again and again. Alrighty, and now you can watch again and again and again on the YouTube if you want. Thanks for listening.